Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn the difference between one tail test and two tail test. I am going to tell you very important information today in this lecture that will clear most of your concept uh, after understanding how one tail test differ from two tail test. So a one tail test is used to check whether the sample parameter is higher or lower than the population parameter. Now, now what does it mean? It means that in inferential statistics we use to do the hypothesis testing in which we formulate the uh, null hypothesis and the alternate hypothesis. So in order to prove our alternate hypothesis we usually gather data from the sample in order to make the inferences about the population. So this test is used to check whether the sample parameter that is uh, usually while doing the hypothesis testing is the mean if I say sample parameter param sample parameter is the mean of the sample if I represent here with the mu is higher or lower that is is greater than or less than the population parameter that is the mean of the population under the experimental condition. So in order to check that this difference that between the sample and the uh, population we need to do the one tailed test. So this is about the one tailed test. You can also say that we usually use one tailed test to check whether there is a statistical significance in one direction or not. So it means in one tailed test we usually do what? We check whether the sample mean is greater than the population mean or Keep this in mind, this OR is very important. This OR is related to 1. It means you are either checking it in higher uh, uh, terms or in the lower term. You are either trying to prove whether the sample parameter is higher than the population parameter or you are trying to prove that the sample parameter is lower than the population parameter. So, I will write here OR so that you may not confuse it or sample mean is less than the population mean. So it depends on your alternative hypothesis. So how you can make this decision? It all depends on the on the alternative hypothesis. What you trying to prove in your alternative hypothesis? I have discussed in detail about these null and alternative hypothesis in my previous lecture. So you have to look into that in order to understand it well. So one tail test will tell you whether there is a difference between sample mean and the population mean in only one direction. One direction means it either will tell you that the sample mean is greater than population mean or the sample mean is less than population mean. So this is about the basic information about the one tail test. Now what about the two tail test? So a two tail test is used to check whether the sample parameter is higher and lower than the population parameter. So the difference between them is the use of this AND. It means in two tail test we use to check in both direction that is greater than and lower than that whether the sample parameter is greater than the population parameter and the sample parameter is lower than the population parameter. So if I write here sample mean is greater than population mean and sample mean sample mean is less than population mean. So we have to ch check both of these possibilities in the two tailed test. Now let's see how you can write this or you, how you can check this uh, while stating the alternative hypothesis that whether it's a one tailed test or a two tailed test uh, by stating the alternative hypothesis. So it can be seen as a one tailed test is usually written in, in the hy hypothesis test as if we have a if we have a null hypothesis as population mean is equals to the sample mean if I say if I represent it with mu naught then its alternative hypothesis will be population mean is either less than the sample mean or you can state the alternative hypothesis as the population mean is greater than the sample mean which of them we have to use it depends on our research question uh, that we are trying to uh, basically prove that whether we are trying to prove that the sample is going to, uh, to be increased as compared to the population or it's going to be decreased. For example, if I give you the example of the earthquake we have discussed in our previous lectures. If our research question is does the earthquake increase the anxiety level, level then in such a case what would be our hypothesis? The hypothesis will be the mean anxiety level of the population will be equals to the mean anxiety level of the sample even in the uh, presence of the earthquake 
एंड ऑल्टरनेटिव हाइपोथिस विल बी दैट द एंजाइटी लेवल ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन विल बी लेस देन द एंजाइटी लेवल ऑफ द सैंपल और यू कैन से द एंजाइटी लेवल ऑफ द सैंपल विल बी ग्रेटर देन द एंजाइटी लेवल ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन द ऑल्टरनेटिव हाइपोथिस विल बी द मीन एंजाइटी लेवल ऑफ द सैंपल विल बी ग्रेटर देन द मीन एंजाइटी लेवल ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द अर्थक्वेक so this is the hypothesis that we we have, we will try to prove using the one tailed test so we are going in one direction that is less that is greater than it means the value of the mean of uh, the mean of the sample parameter should be greater than the mean of the population and it's going in one direction while in case of two tailed test what we have is we will have the null hypothesis as again mu is equals to mu not but the alternative hypothesis h1 will be mu is not equal to mu not that means we are not specifying the direction that whether the mean of the sample parameter is greater than or less than the population parameter but but we are just saying that they are not equal to each other so we will try to find out using the two tail test whether it is in the uh, uh, whether the uh, mean is greater than the population mean or it is less than the population mean so this is how the one tail and two tail differs in terms of hypothesis so if we consider the example of earthquake here research question that does the earthquake affect does the earthquake affect the anxiety level so here we are not mentioning that the anxiety level is increasing or decreasing we are just trying to check whether the anxiety increases or decreases or the earthquake have an effect on the anxiety level or not so here we will write the hypothesis that is the alternate hypothesis that we will try to prove using two tail test h not will be mu is equals to mu not that is the anxiety level of the sample will be equal to the anxiety level of the population and h1 will be mu is not equal to mu not because we are not sure whether it will increase or decrease so it's just an example we will have a different examples related to this so this is how the how they differ in terms of stating the hypothesis so another difference is one tail test is also known as directional also known as directional or one sided test or one sided test while two tail test is also known as non directional or two sided test because in this test we are concerned with the two sides that is greater than and less than both while in one tail test we are doing the directional or one sided test either the direction is greater than or the less than or you can say a positive or negative another difference between them is so in one tail test the risk of making type 1 error is more because the in in, in one tail test the statistical significance uh, the alpha is associated with one tail only on only one side of the uh, probability distribution while in two tail test risk of type 1 error is less because the alpha the value of alpha is divided into the two directions in two tail test while in one tail test it is concentrated in the one direction only now the concept of one tail and two tail what is one tail and what is two tail i will explain you in the next lecture so that you can have the clear idea about it but today i am just uh, explaining you the one tail and two tail test another important th thing regarding one tail and two tail test is the why do we need to find the statistical significance using the one tail and two tail test when we also find it using the p value the difference between this is p value is associated with only telling whether the there is a statistical significance or not it will not tell you the magnitude plus direction of the difference between the sample parameter and the population parameter so for finding this we need one tailed and two tailed test and we do not rely only on p value but we need the test statistics so that we can easily understand that how the uh, sample parameter parameter differs from the population parameter in terms of the magnitude and as well as the direction so another important difference is when we need to use the one tail test and how do we know when when we need to use the two tail test so one tail test is used when we have a when we have a strong basis of a particular direction for example our example of uh, earthquake is the uh, uh, is a very good example that it's obvious 
that after the earthquake the anxiety level will increase so it is not it is uh, uh, very less likely that the anxiety level will decrease so we have a strong basis that we have to prove that whether the anxiety level will increase after the earthquake or not so this is the strong basis for the one tail test while in case of the two tail test we need not to have a strong basis of the uh, uh, of the uh, particular direction because we have the option of finding the uh, significance in both the direction so we do not need the basis for a direction and it is conventional that we usually use two tail test because of the ever present possibility of unexpected result for example if, if you are testing in a direction that is greater than and your results are matching with the less than condition so it becomes mm, uh, uh, so uh, it uh, it becomes difficult for us to go with that hypothesis testing so that's why we need to go with the two tail test as compared to the one tail test so that we may we uh, so that uh, we can uh, rule out the possibility of any unexpected result so that's all from today's lecture thank you